Um, first half was really, really bad on the defensive end, uh, 51 points. You know, really allowed them to uh, get back on defense, make the game stagnant, uh, you know, which is what they want to get us out of their rhythm while they were back in this, uh, you know, kind of box and one with Big Fell in the middle. So, um, you know, we really did a bad job of just getting stops and allowing the game to come to us. In the second half, you know, when we got stops, everything, uh, you know, really flowed freely from that. And, uh, yeah, then the game started to, uh, to come to us. Rita. Do you hear me now? Yes. Uh, so first of all, Thomas, congrats for the victory. And on the behalf of the Shadigris Insider subscribers, we have a question uh, from Kasparas. He asks, uh, Thomas, what did you guys change uh, during the break? What, was that, what were the, those details that let you guys come back to the game and eventually to have a victory? Yeah, good question. Um, really, it was our defensive intensity. You know, in the first half, they were kind of getting everything. Uh, they were cutting wherever they wanted. Uh, when they wanted to get into the lane, they were getting into the lane. They were shooting open shots. And then uh, I think just being connected to uh, to those guys and not letting them move freely, not letting them come off their shots. And then also, you know, the back doors, they're great at just reading the game. So uh, it took them a little bit out of their rhythm. And, uh, you know, this caused them uh, some problems. Uh, Tom, you still have some uh, playoff chances, uh, quite slim chances, but there is some hope. And I was thinking, uh, after the Maccabi game, it was a crucial game uh, for the playoff race. And what was the mental state of the team? And also at the same time, did, did, did you need to inspire guys about some, you know, six game winning strength stories, which you had before in the past? to motivate them, you know, to fight uh, for the chance, even if it's so slim. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, uh, I think from day one, one of our strengths of this team is the experience that uh, we have in EuroLeague. A lot of players have played in EuroLeague. And, uh, you know, we think we have f four or five players that were on that team from uh, two years ago that made that run. So um, that's definitely been in our head. And, uh you know, this is a club that fights. This is a team that fights, you know, fan base that fights every, you know, we're, uh, we're fighters and um, we won't stop, you know, until the very last game. Uh, Carlos Lukashunas, Marty Gibbons stepped up uh, big uh, tonight in big moments, of, actually. Uh, I, I, what what do you think about their development uh, throughout the years uh, since you you guys been together in Kaunas and you know uh, having such moments like tonight against Alba? Uh, first off, I mean super happy for those guys. Uh, firstly, Carl. Um, he uh, you know especially from the very first time that I met him. Uh, last year, or in uh, I don't know August, you know, he was still growing up, and uh, for him to go out there and perform the way he did today, he guarded well, he shot it well, you know, just uh, he looked like he, uh, you know, belonged, and he do he does belong out there, so that was great. And then also uh, Marty Gebbin, uh, you know, we have Augustine Rubit and uh, Laverne playing playing uh, a lot of minutes at the five. So uh, I thought all year he's done a great job of being ready. And, uh, you know, today he got his number called, played more minutes, and he, uh, he played great. So the uh, guy works his tail off. And uh, for him to get the opportunity and take advantage of it is, uh, you know, it's great to see. You only? I actually had the same question like Donata says. So I'm just going to ask about uh, Patricio Garino. It looks like the whole team is cheering with every good uh, episode that he's having on the court. Mm -hmm. You saw his journey throughout the season, uh, all this, all his hard work uh, in practices. Can you just talk about that, how you saw him uh, progress throughout the season and finally get on the court and play? Yeah, you know, Patricio is a, a, you know, he's very easy to cheer for. Uh, he's very easy to be on his side because, uh, you know, how good of a guy he is and how hard he works. So, you know, he has uh, this great personality. Uh, he shows up every day, you know, for uh, 17 months now. He's been showing up, working, um, you know, staying ready. Um, uh, 
more than one setback along the way and he's just kept at it you know and there at no point uh you know did he ever come in and take a day off anything you know every single day he was in there working um so it's just super easy to cheer for him. All the you know applause he's getting, all the yelling that that we do whenever he does something is just very authentic uh, because he's a super super guy and uh, of how hard he works. Sibet, Sibet, lasimos, lasimo automate, rulete. Netzakingas lasimas gali su kelti priklausomybe.